What is going on YouTube? My name is Bluepaw. Welcome back to Pokemon Showdown. I'm playing Yu Yu for a fourth and bonus episode this time, uh, as we're using a team recommended by a subscriber. Uh, we're using all starters in their final evolutions. Remember, if you have any teams you'd like to see me use in future videos, feel free to leave a comment down below letting me know what you'd like to see me use. Also, please leave a like down below, it really helps out the video, and feel free to subscribe for daily Pokemon videos coming your way. Other than that, let's get into the battle. So, looking at my opponent's team, you could have three possible Megas. Uh, none of these look very good for my team. I mean, Mega Aerodactyl would be really fast and scary as hell. Mega Absol would hit crits all over the place and would be able to counter my stealth rocks from my Swampert. And uh, Mega Burnett, obviously Will-O-Wisp, Destiny Bond, all those shenanigans, never really that fun. So despite my opponent's scary team, I see Swampert can set up rocks fairly easily if this Absol isn't Mega. Luckily it isn't, and he goes for a Night Slash, so it's a super luck uh, with the Razor Claw variant. Uh, which is still annoying, but it's not the worst my Swampert is physically defensive, so we can eat up these Night Slashes fairly well. E and these are critical hits as well. On oh, Swampert, you tank it today, boy. So that's three crew hits my Swampert eats up, gets a Stealth Rock off, and hits two Waterfalls and takes his Absol out. I didn't see any reason to switch into something. A Swampert's pretty much done its job, got his Rocks up. I was going to go for Raw, but there's no real point. Uh, I switched to Gimme the Loot, uh, my Magician Delphox, to take a Psychic. Uh, and he switches out, predicting. Uh, I, sh uh, I don't know what he was predicting there, but I went for a Will-O-Wisp. Uh, the Ghost-type move would have hurt Burnett a lot more, maybe he's just preserving Az Azoff, I don't know. But it's great to see this thing Will-O-Wisp, uh, which means he's not going to do much at all. I just sack off my Swamp at this point because Mega Burnett is just too scary, and Bakugan seems to have a pretty good matchup. I completely forgot about priority Will-O-Wisp, which is a, a big mistake on my part, uh, so my Waterfall won't turn his Burnett out, but it, uh, the next one looks like it will. However, he switches to keep it around. Uh, very nice of predicting me to go for priority Aqua Jet, taking more Life Orb and Burn Recoil. As this Conkelda pretty much took that without taking any damage. Uh, I decided to go for Flinch Stalling as his back again is pretty much useless now. I don't get the Flinch and he goes for a knockoff and then the Burn proceeds to take me out. Uh, so, back again, you did nothing. Congratulations. I go up into Gimme the Loot to threaten the Psychic type move. He stays in and somehow eats up this Scythe Shock. It's not Assault Vest, so I don't know how he ate that up. And uh, kills my Gimme the Loot with a knockoff. That's why you're in RU. <laughs> Delphox, go up a tier. Uh, he can then smack my Pride Rock with a uh, with a Mark Punch, and U Turn for some reason doesn't take it out. <laughs> this this can't get us too bunky. I don't know why these things are in UU. It's broken as hell. Uh, Greenpeace can luckily come in, eat up my Mark Punch, and get a tiny bit of help out with a Giga Drain, uh, which is still bad. I mean, Greenpeace, you don't want it to get this guy damaged. He brings in Nidoking, which is scary as hell. Attempts to scarf, life orbed. You don't see a life orb there, so it could be choice scarfed. He then goes for an Ice Beam, revealing no, so he's probably Expert Belt. As I set up a Leech Seed with my special, uh, just getting a little bit of HP back. He obviously doesn't want his Nidoking Leech Seeded, and switches that into herself. So I drop a Giga Drain on this thing and get a lot of health back with my special. So, you know, come in a bit of MVP Venusaur. Uh, you're an RU, but who cares? This is you, you. Uh, you can pretend to be you if you want. Uh, this Nidoking comes in and smacks my Venusaur. I miss a Leech Seed, which is annoying as hell, because that means this Nidoking can just run rampant over my team now. And then he unnecessarily reveals the Flamethrower. Nonetheless, he takes my Venusaur out. Ice Witch and Green Priest always going to outspeed this thing. Thought a Giga Drain would take it out. This is a you know, max special attack Mega Sceptile, but nope. And an Ice Beam drops my Mega Sceptile. I have to go into Pride Rock at this point and just spam Flare Blitz. Seeing as he has a Mega Manette still in the back, I can't hit close combat, which sucks. Uh, however, this Mega Manette does reveal the Destiny Bond, which is annoying for me, because that's my last Pokemon, I have to click Flare Bits, because I'm Trace Scarfed, and the Bennett proceeds to bring me down. So that was a fairly quick battle, but I did really enjoy using these Stars Pokemon. So that proceeds to wrap up the game there, and uh, also our video. Thank you for watching, if you enjoyed the video, crush that like button down below, and also if you want your team to be featured on a video, like this one, then leave a comment down below with any team suggestions. Also be sure to subscribe below, so you never miss a Pokemon video coming your way. Have a great day. Peace.